Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Kemp's brand. These are Itty Bits ice creams. This is the cookies and cream. And the cotton candy. These were $3.98 at Walmart. Uh, $3.98 for a six pack. So, I'm going to give you, let's see how, how big the container is. That's what I expected. Oh, okay. Well, it's Work actually up. smaller than what I was hoping for. It says shake me up to make some fun. There's no shake. <laughs> it, no. it must be in a clump or something. Sorry, I probably shouldn't do that with the video. Huh? I tried to do that, it didn't do anything. It's just little... Shake well before opening. I'm telling you, it doesn't do anything. They're all stuck together. Yeah, really. That's what I was Oh well, cookies and cream, uh, let's see. Yeah, they're kind of stuck together. 90 calories per cup, distributed by Camps. Uh, and we didn't leave these sitting out so they wouldn't be like melty or anything like that. No, no, these came straight from the freezer. Mm. That's what you want to do. Uh, oh, St. Paul, Minnesota. I was I mean, looking, I was like, where is Kemp's located? St. Paul, Minnesota. It's a little bit right. And I, that's it. I mean, there's really not, it says, uh, cookies and cream, ice cream, artificially flavored. That's all there is to tell you. It tastes like cookies and cream. These are not as fun to eat as the, um, what's the brand that you have to have a special freezer for? Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots. This isn't as fun to eat as those. No, but it does taste like cookies and cream. It does, but would you, you really want to buy that over just a regular cookies and cream ice cream? No. Um, I'll tell you why. The, um, it really, it tastes like, the cookie part tastes like an Oreo. It does. It, it tastes like they took a, um, not the cream part, although there is a little bit of sweetness there. a little bit there. of that in the white. Yeah. But it's mainly the dark cookie, mm -hmm. and it tastes like they crumbled up the cookie and put it in there. Yeah, it, not, even, not even, it's not even ice cream, it's like literally... No, like it's like cookie pieces. cookie pieces. Yeah, it's like cookie pieces. I, I, I can't imagine this being pleasing to an adult. I just can't. This would not satisfy me. No, I guess if I you're really fair. funny about your calories and you're really strict or something, then you might want to get these to, if you're trying to eat stuff slow or whatever it, I, I would not be pleased with that no it's 90 calories i'd rather have a fudge pop like yeah. a fudge popsicle yeah i would too uh yes because fudge pops are, are or even really the low in calories tubs of ice cream that they sell but yeah th that would just not do it for me because it it does taste like you're getting that uh raw cookie flavor which is good but it's just not um Yes. It's not like cookies and cream ice cream for sure. No, Regular uh, cookies and cream ice cream. This is cotton candy. It's only 80 calories. Now, I love cotton candy. love cotton candy ice cream. So, I'm really excited about this. Cotton candy is usually a stronger flavor. And you wonder, go ahead. Um, you wonder if, where do we buy these at? Walmart. Freezer departments are notoriously bad mm -hmm. about leaving stuff out while they're stocking stuff. Mm -hmm. This is one of those products is if, if it thawed even a little bit, mm -hmm. it's going to clump up like that it and stick right. together. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if that's not what happened to some of these because they're not melted together. They're just all stuck together. What we have seen is they bring out, and this isn't just Walmart. This no, is no, it's all over. Trust me, lots of stores. Yes. But they bring out tons more than they're able to put up in a reasonable amount of time. So, so they're all stuck together. Yeah, they're bringing out two like huge pallets of stuff that's that's stacked up and taller than me. And it's one person. And it's one stuff. person. Well, how do you expect to be able to put all of this up in the freezer before some of the stuff starts getting ruined? And you can't. You can't do it. It didn't happen. No. So so it starts thawing. The ice cream starts like sticking together just like this. Um, unless they did a really good job of getting it out there and frozen quickly. Um, you're going to stick together like that. They're not going to be individual. I don't like the flavor of that at all. You don't? Wow. No. It's very artificial. It's cotton candy, I know. But it's very chemical-like artificial. 
Um, I do not mind it for my, my problem with it is it's not strong enough. Uh, it's not a strong enough cotton candy flavor. For yeah, me. I, mean, I, I want it to flavor. be stronger. I want it to be like, like we've had, um, drinks, cotton candy drinks that are really, really strong cotton candy flavor. Uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I'll just throw another ice cream out there for you. Um, Ben and Jerry's has uh, cotton candy or they used to, if they still sell it. Fantastic, but it's a stronger cotton candy yeah. flavor. This just is not strong enough. It's not a strong flavor, but what's there to me comes across as a chemical like flavor. I just don't like it. But the, that said, I do like the Kemp's brand because we've had other things oh, yeah. from Kemp's. The regular tubs of ice cream um, are wonderful. What is, isn't it yogurt, like yeah. frozen yogurt? That and, and they're wonderful, fantastic brand. So just because we didn't care for these doesn't mean like I would write off all of Kemp's. No. It just means I just wouldn't get these again. No. Um, a kid might like them uh, because it looks special and festive. So you might get away with feeding this to a kid, but as an adult, I'm not satisfied. I'd really have them. I'd really have the cheap cups of uh, chocolate and vanilla ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I would too. I would too. <laughs> that, that's just the truth. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.